What's up, y'all? I'm Lauren St. Victor, and welcome to Fit Chat, where we talk artistry and fitness. Today, we have Kenrick Green, who plays Scott on The Walking Dead. Let's see what inspires him artistically and motivates him to stay fit. Let's go. Where, where are you from? Where did you grow up? Let's see. I grew up in Upland, California, which is about an hour east of LA, but I was, uh, I was born in Detroit. That's where my family's from. So did you always want to be an actor? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I was introduced to basketball in the third grade and I kept playing and I really thought that I was going to end up in the NBA. And I rode that natural ability all the way until my sophomore year until all of a sudden I wasn't the tallest, I wasn't the strongest. But it was never really instilled in me that I needed to train and work to get to any next level. You know, I really thought that it would you know, it would just carry me. I, I understand the game and it would just carry me all the way to my hopes and dreams. And, you know, I <laughs> I ran into a huge wall. And so when did you get the desire to act? When did you get bit by that bug? Well, my, uh, you know, my, one of my best friends at the time, so one of my best friends today, he he was really the, the person that started it uh, we, just before he graduated high school. So now I'm 18 and they were doing a production of Guys and Dolls. He comes up to me, he's like, hey man, there's there's suits and there's girls. We should do it, we should audition. And I was like, all right, yeah. I can do that. There's just an energy there that I felt, yeah. that I really, I, that I just really latched on to. And I, and I remember this, this, uh, this older man coming up to me after one of our productions of Guys and Dolls and he, he came up to me and he said, of all the people on that stage, I could tell that you're the actor. Oh, you know, and I don't know what he saw, but I know that that's something that really left an impression on me. Yeah. You know, after that whole experience, I said to myself, I want to see what this acting thing's about. The bug bit you. Now you're in San Antonio College, you study theater. You know, I said to myself, well, let's, let's find out what it's about. Since I like it, let me see. And so that's where I took my first my first acting class. That initial spark that started in high school that went into college got you to travel from LA to New York where you furthered your training at Amda. I realized that like it's, I'd hit a fork in the road. It's mm -hmm. either time to find more in-depth training or it's, or it's time to get out there in the professional world and go do that, do it for real. And at the time I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was ready. You know, I, I realized that all the actors that I, that I really liked, or most of them that I liked and was inspired by, uh, spent time or studied in New York uh -huh. and did theater there. So I'm like, well, I should go to New York. How do you approach acting today? I study at the Imagine Live studio with Diana Castle. And she's, she's been, she's been fantastic. That studio's fantastic. It's about storytelling and the power of storytelling and how it can change people's lives. So how do you approach a script? How do you approach story? You know, I, I, have, to, I have to totally immerse myself in the world of the story and, and, and fill in the blanks with my imagination. Creating all those dynamics and those relationships so that they mean something, mm -hmm. you know? So that, you know, because if it means something to you and I, then it'll mean something to whoever watches. Speaking of creating worlds, mm -hmm. The Walking Dead, as an actor, how do you prepare for something that is both fantastical but very, very real at the same time? <laughs> that show is, it's 60% or 70% real. You really... You know, obviously zombies don't exist, but when you see those people in front of you, as close as you and me are with that makeup on, I don't have to act scared. It's scary looking. I mean, the woods are real, the sun and the heat are real, the sweat is real, the ticks are real. Has your athleticism in basketball, has it aided you in being in all such a physical show? Absolutely. You know, you're, you're, you're running, you're jumping, you're bending, you're leaning, you're reaching, you're, you know, you're, you're doing all these different things, all these different movements that that are really helpful and not only in this show but, but anything you know i mean the, the acting is very physical what's your diet like what's your nutrition like which so i've discovered uh you know how to eat better and how to eat right for you know your blood type and, and nutrition and and combining foods the right way i mean that's like the height you know that's the height of, um, of nutrition in my opinion how do you stay motivated to keep mm -hmm. going Keep eating well, keep staying fit. What, what keeps me motivated is living, is living a, a energetic, joyful life. 
you know, that's full of vitality. I, I think that, or I believe that we can have that up until we're 70, 80, you know, up until 90 years old. It's, you know, as an actor, it's, it's a very hard road. A lot of rejection, a lot of crazy personalities. Yeah. What do you do to stay inspired in your art form? Well, I, I mean, it's the, the first thing and then the most important thing is my faith. And without, without my faith, without, you know, for me, it's Jesus. And if I didn't, if I didn't have him, if I didn't have that relationship, I, you know, I don't know that I would be able to do it. You know, I, I believe that I'm called to do this and I, and I believe that's for a reason. Mm -hmm. So that's what, that's what keeps me there. I, I have no other choice. And then the second thing is, you know, the reason why I believe I'm called here is, you know, going back to the power of storytelling and, and really changing people's lives. Oh, why basketball? Yeah, you know, I still love, I still love that game. Really, for, for that, for that reason, first but then also for me like i understand the necessity of getting in a gym and exercising and lifting weights and doing all that thing and i and i do that too but basketball is fun and you get you get so much more out of it it's it's more than just, it's not an exercise it's a sport we've been sitting here for a while though oh you ready i think we signed to play some basketball okay i don't know he asked for it i did let's do it <laughs> let's get it in Kenrick, explain to us what we're about to do out here. All right, well, we're about to do a series of drills. Mm -hmm. First thing, suicide drill. Okay. Which, if you're not familiar, we start at the baseline. We're gonna run, we're gonna touch the free throw line and back, touch the half court line and back, touch the free throw line back, then the other baseline all the way back. Okay. That's a suicide drill. So then we'll, we'll be a little warmed up. We're gonna get into the defensive stance a little bit because, you know, we gotta, that's important. And get into like a squat position warm up the hips and everything and move around in there for a minute and feel that burn. Uh -huh. And then we're actually going to jump up and we're going to touch the backboard 10 times as Ooh, quick as we can. Yeah. You know, and so now we're, then we're warming up, then we'll play a, uh, play a game of pig just to get the shot ready. Uh huh. And then it's one on one. Woo! Let's see what's going on. Let's do it. All Let's right. do it. All right, Kenrick. Let's get it in. Let's get it. Shut up and sit down. He won. He killed me. Thank you so much, Kenrick, for killing me in basketball. It was a whole lot of fun. Follow this man. His info's in the description. He is an amazing artist and a heck of a basketball player. Share and like this video. And I'll see you next time.